we will want to copy these exact road to the show settings. Inside gameplay, you're gonna want to hit and pitch at beginner difficulty. Still in general, inside miscellaneous, you want to make sure that your player lock base running opportunities is to open base. You want to see all of your teammates hitting and then you want all of your fielding opportunities as well. In addition to that, change your presentation mode to fast play and take off the pitch selection cameras. I'll repeat this once more. You do not need a created stadium. You don't need zero overall rosters either. Yes, they might help you hit more home runs or more extra base hits, but it is not needed. If you need more plate appearances, at the end of the day, once your mission is completed, you're quitting out, so you don't necessarily need that either. If you're doing simulation for base attributes, that's the only way it really makes sense in terms of speeding it up, but it is not required. Now, the fastest method to leveling up your ball player archetype is always going to be a starting pitcher first baseman in terms of two-way player. If you want to go ahead and only have a position player and want to level up certain diamond archetype programs, you need to make yourself a first baseman. And if you want to just pitch, then starting pitcher will be the way to go as well. Before we dive into the actual method, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, or subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss another upload. Also, we're aiming for 25,000 subscribers before my birthday, April 16th. Inside the description is our Twitch, Discord, social medias, and how to become a member. I always tell you this, the most important thing is to have that notepad, Excel sheet, or notes on your phone out. You're gonna go into your tasks and rewards and see what it is you need to accomplish in order to get the program points. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. Inside of a game, if you are the starting pitcher and you pitch six innings and this was at zero, once the six innings are done, you aren't going to begin progress for the next set of six innings since this is a repeatable mission. Instead, it will cap you off at six innings until you go to the next game. That's why I'm telling you all that you always want to be keeping track of this. So if you pitch three innings, the next game you only have to pitch three innings and then quit out. That way you aren't wasting your time in terms of progress. The missions are not too hard. The most important one and the reason why you're making yourself a first baseman with fielding opportunities on is because of putouts. Each time they throw it over to first base, that is a put out to you and it doesn't take any effort at all to do this. The reason we're keeping the base running opportunities and on open base running opportunities only is because we're going to be trying to steal each and every single time to not only work on speed, but also stealing and base running aggressiveness. Get this, we're playing first base right now. This is going to be the first put out. Never mind. It's going to be, well, actually, yes, it's still going to be the first put out of our career. Worked on our reaction, worked on our fielding as well. In terms of hitting, as I've always said, it's not going to be hard on beginner difficulty. Most of the pitches are going to be coming right down the middle, so it just comes down to how can you time the pitch, and it's going to be coming extremely slow too. I will be trying to steal a base for you all. The number one step to stealing a bag is going to be, number one, you want to have this left analog stick you're seeing right here down. Why? It will highlight return to the bag. So if the pitcher tries to do a quick pickoff throw, you're gonna be able to return without a problem. The next thing you want to do is hold down R1 so your player can be leaning towards the base he wants to steal. It usually helps them get a better jump. As soon as the pitcher's leg goes up, that's when you want to go. And as you can see, we easily stole second base. But that's not all. We're also going to be going towards third as well. Since it doesn't matter. All we're trying to do is get speed, good steal jump. If we're out, we're out. And we're going to be safe there as well. Once you are at third base, you want to just go ahead, press next appearance, and then press circle. And it will go ahead and take you either to your next at bat or your next fielding opportunity. Nice little base hit, going to go ahead and keep the bases loaded. So you will see the beauty of just having an open base. We won't have to go ahead and play this base running opportunity unless for some odd reason we had stayed at second base and the runner from second would have scored. Another ground ball right to us. So another unassisted put out. Another ground ball to us. I'm expecting to see a ground ball to the shortstop and me catching it. When it comes to hitting, I've already told you all, if you press X, nine times out of 10, you're going to be working on your power. If you press square, you will also work on your power. If you press circle, that's when you will begin to work on your contact. Here, we didn't go towards second base because we want to steal the bag. We're gone. 
He took way too long. He's gonna throw the second, but we're already in there. Have you guys been keeping track of how many stolen bases we have so far? It's going to be a total of three. So if we steal this third base bag right here, that's going to be four, and this repeatable mission is going to be completed, and we won't be earning any progress. But we're not going to quit out, because in order for us to get on base again, we need to get hits. Therefore, whenever it's a, st a stolen base mission that you have completed, what you're gonna do is whenever you get on base and the base is open is just skip to next appearance until you either have completed the hitting mission or you have completed one of the fielding missions and if you have completed either or then you can continue on pressing next appearance until you get a fielding opportunity or hitting opportunity depending on which one you had not completed did not expect him to make contact with the ball doesn't matter we're gonna be able to score easily but unfortunately we did not get that stolen base Finally, an opportunity where we don't have to go ahead and make the fielding grab. It's a put out. Man tried to be Derek Jeter on us and just couldn't. Generally, stealing bags is going to become more difficult, especially whenever your hitters are falling off pitches. But it's gonna become more difficult as you get a lot faster because they're gonna start saying, hey, he's stealing, so they're going to start basically quick pitching. But now that we have four stolen bases, you just press next appearance, skip, and then it's gonna take us either to a fielding opportunity or a hitting opportunity. Ground ball, not to us, second baseman instead, another put out. So you can see with very little effort, you can rack up put outs and even level up the archetype faster. Another ground ball. I'm not sure how many put outs we've gotten so far, but we will see at the end of the game. Come on, pitch, right back to me, easy. Now, if you were keeping track of everything, you would know that you can go ahead and play next game and you would know what missions refresh. But if you weren't keeping track of everything, what I would highly suggest you go ahead and do is return to the clubhouse, see where the progress is at, and then jot that down so next time you won't have to. Inside that one game, we got four plate appearances, seven put outs, four hits, and then we completed that non-repeatable hit mission, but you don't see the stolen bases there, but we completed that as well. So if we can average, let's say six to seven putouts a game, that means that every three to four games, we will have that mission completed and we'll have to just press next appearance whenever it's a fielding opportunity. If you did end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, go inside the description. We got ourselves our Discord, Twitch, social medias, and how to become a member. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out.